but I just saw a video from Marcus Conte and you may remember Marcus, he came down to DC to interview me and we both were kind of like not quite trusting each other and uh, I made this <clears throat> kind of impassioned speech right here in this chair about, you know, even though Marcus didn't have a lot of good things to say about me, I, do, I did think he had this kind of Dylan-esque rock poet thing going on. Uh, but beyond that, beyond the superficial delivery and so forth, I think he had a, a an inquiring mind and he was going for truth, you know, and I respected that. But I do think he is one of these people who is a great thinker. He does inhale a lot of information. He, he puts it out in kind of a poetic way. Um, and I just love his delivery. Um, I don't see him as a sanitation cop. I see him as a... Uh, a street reporter just like me. Uh, we all come from different professions. I mean, um, but these are people that have crossed the chasm to making this decision to do news and do truth morning, new, uh, morning, noon, and night. I see Marcus as the same sort of person who is really reaching out and trying to, to tell the truth. So I look at people like Marcus Conte and he questions everything. It's, it's like a Diogenes. That's good. I see the greatness. He passes the Tuchus test. Um, I'm not coordinating with anyone. I have a relative who occasionally does something completely unpredictable and so forth. And I am never gonna be able to understand that. So, so don't ask me to, <laughs> um, but I'll just leave it at that. I, um, I think Marcus um, has has a future. Now I've had people now on the internet saying I'm I'm a shill for the Mercers. I'm a shill for dark weapons. I'm a, I'm a, a cutout for Goldman Sachs. No, no. I think everybody knows Marcus Conte is the cutout for Goldman Sachs and and the Mercers and. Bannon knows Peter Monk. They were so, they were palsy wowsy And that was his thing. He was a shill for the Mercers. Marcus is a shill for the Mercers. Let's just be honest. So people say, why do you pay so much attention to Marcus? I said, I don't pay attention to Marcus. I pay, pay attention to the freaking Mercers. They're billionaires. You do not, you do not, uh, you know, discount them. They are badass mofos. So they will fund a thousand Marcuses if they want to.